Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm explaining about a doodle which is shown in many countries for Turkana human or Turkana boy. Also called Nerikotome boy. It is a name given to fossil KNM hyphen WT 15,000, a nearly complete skeleton of a Homo ergaster, alternatively referred to as African Homo erectus, youth who lived at uh, C 1.5 to 1.6 million years ago. This specimen is the most complete early human skeleton ever found. It was discovered in 1984 by Kamoya Kimiu on the bank of the Narikotomi River near Lake Turkana in Kenya. Estimates of the individual's age at death range from 7 to 11 years old. Although the specimen is largely considered male due to the shape of the pelvis, the sex is ultimately indeterminate due to its prepubescent age. Estimates of the age at the death depend on whether the maturity stage of the teeth or skeleton is used and whether that maturity is compared to that of the modern humans or to chimpanzees. A key factor is that while modern humans have a marked adolescent growth spurt, chimpanzees do not. While initial research assumed a modern human type of growth, more recent evidence from other fossils such as this was less present in early Homo. This affects the estimation of both the age and the likely, likely stature of the specimen as fully grown adult. Alan Walker and Richard Leakey in 1993 estimated the boy to have been about 11 to 12 years old based on known rights of bone maturity. Walker and Leakey 1993 said that dental dating often gives a younger age than a person's actual age. Christopher Dean of University College of London in a Nova special estimated that the Turkana boy or woman was eight years old at death. The specimen comprises of 108 bones, making the most complete early human skeleton discovered ever. The skeleton was about 160 centimeter tall in adulthood. Turkana boy might have reached 185 centimeter in tall and massed 68 kilograms. Its vocal cap capabilities, the fossil skeleton and other fossil evidence such as Achillean stone tools prompt that majority of scientists to conclude that Homo ergaster and Homo erectus, unlike their more primitive ancestors, became efficient hunters. The social structure would probably have become more complex with a larger brain volume. It was suspected that Turkana boy suffered from a congenital disorder, congenital disorder, whether of dwarfism or Scoliosis. This was because rib bones appeared asymmetrical to the spine and the reason was attributed to skeletal dysplasia. However, in 2013, a study showed that when the rib bones were carefully rearranged, they became symmetrical again against the spine and that unusual structure of the vertebrate was characteristic of the early hominins. However, the fossil definitely showed the lumbar disc herniation, herniation as an injury implicated with specimen's death. The specimen also had a disease mandible. I hope you understood about this um, early human being. Thank you for watching guys. Subscribe the channel, click the bell icon for notification. Take care. Goodbye.